You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Hi, yo, Rossinio! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Shout out to Ray, man. That was fucking fire. I've never heard nobody say the, the Rossinio Hall show. But yo, welcome to the Shut Up and Talk show with Uncle Ra. I am Uncle Ra. I, my first non battle rap guest. It's got to be somebody, right? For it to not be battle rap. Ransom. And, and uh, this guy. What's it? Who's this guy? <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> he go by DB Hope. Uh, what's up, brother? I can't complain. Man. My man. I can't. My complain. man. I appreciate you coming through. Uh, we here ten years. Strong. We've been trying to get Ransom in this building for ten years. You ain't got to put it like that. Man. I have to. You ain't got to put it like that. I have to. But because this is epic for me, man. This is you know what I mean. It's like we got Ransom in the building. And I appreciate it, man. Yeah. I think, you know, people out there, they know I'm a little anti-social and shit, and I definitely kind of kind of ease my way into shit and shit. So, right. you know, 10 years is kind of light for, for the usual. Usually, <laughs> like, 15, 20, you know, I'll be like, all right. There's not a lot of interviews with you out there, though, really. So. Not really, yeah. Nah, not really. I just, I, you know, I pick and choose here and there, you know, when I'm up to it and shit. But, and, I you know, I, I do it to help, you know, upcoming artists, and uh, not artists like Potters and, and upcoming bloggers and shit, right? You know, try to get them off the off the ground and shit. So I do that. But other than appreciate that, you helping me, brother. Nah, you don't need no help. Yes, you I don't do. need no help. Um, yes, sir, I, I need do. no help, man. Always, there's there's no ceiling, right? So anybody coming in here to make this bigger and better, it's a blessing for me, and I'm honored to have you here, man. I appreciate it, man. Yo, so I, I first thing I want to do get out the way because now I don't listen to a lot of music. I ain't gonna lie to you. Right. Especially the new music now. Mm -hmm. I knowing you coming here, I had to listen to. Um, damn, what's I, I had it down here. Yeah, you should, you gotta have your shit together, bro. Yeah, well, come on, um, yeah, heavy, you know, shit. heavy yeah. yeah. But just let me say this, man. I listen to the joints. Heavy is the head. I listen to the joints, and there's no, there's no collared beats. You know what I mean? And when I say college beats, a lot of college beats, mm -hmm. a motherfucker that never rapped in his life can rap on that beat and probably have a hit record. Because the beat is actually what's really dope about the record mm -hmm. more than the rapper. Right. Your beats are like, there's not a lot of shit going on. Yeah. I want you to hear my words. Chuck. Yeah. yeah. I want you to hear what I'm saying. And um, I just need a little backdrop. You know, because I feel like what I'm doing is like cinematic shit. Mm -hmm. So I just need a little backdrop and I'll do the rest. I don't need you to put all the extra bullshit in it and violins and shit and, you know, harps. <laughs> you know, all that shit, man. Just give me drums, a little sample behind and I'm going to run with it. That's a real rapper. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If, yeah, rappers don't, they just need a, a fucking, uh, what do they call that? The uh, monotone, what do they call that? The, uh, oh, the, the, the metronome. Metronome. Yeah, that's well, all a real rapper needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and a real rap, I don't even need that shit. Because I'm so on beat, my shit just, I, my shit flow. So I don't even need the metronome and shit. I'm just going off the, you know, off the pure talent. The rap. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> You don't, who will? I really, yeah. Fuck yeah, the that. bullshit. Yeah. yeah, facts. That's a fact. And you, uh, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. So I've seen the, you know, the concept yeah. of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know, I just, I, I do, I let the, I let the music speak to me, and mm -hmm. then I, and I, and then I go with it. Um, I don't like just the regular old street shit. If that's where the beat takes me, I, I do where the beat takes me. But when I heard the first track, I'm like, damn, this sounds like royalty. It sounds prestigious. It sounds, sounds like I need to be slapping peasants and shit like that. <laughs> so I'm like. You know what I mean? And it started from there, and then, you know, shout out to Big Ghost, he did all the production. And, you know, what he was sending me, it, everything had that same majestic type of... I and so it, was, it wasn't a concept, it just happened to fall into place happened, that way. That's how my shit is, man. Ooh. I just, I play the shit, and I just let that talk. I just go. I don't even question it. And I just started talking some King beheading shit, and I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I love Game of Thrones. I love cinematic shit. Thrones. Right, shout out to me. I love different shit. Though. I'm you know, I, you know, how many times can you spin the block? 
Right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Tell them motherfuckers that. I mean, you know, I mean, I like hearing shit like that too, but you know, I'm a, I like to give people a variety and shit and shit like that, so. And be creative at the same time. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Being creative is, is could be gangster too, you know, you ain't, you know, ain't gotta be like, oh man, I ain't, oh, fuck with that nerd shit or this shit like that. Nah, you just, you just being creative, you letting the art talk, and um, that's gangster too. That's a fact. Yeah. It's real good too, man. Real good. Yeah. The the lyrics in uh RJ Payne. RJ Payne's on there, yes. That's that's um Rain Man. Rain Man from Philly. Absolutely. Yeah. I've been seeing and hearing his name yeah. all of a sudden for the last like probably like year. Yeah, he's been working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's been working, man. Yeah, you he's know. out there. He's out there, man. He's mm. um he's making some noise out there. Like, and he's fired too. He's crazy. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, he's crazy now. Um, and a lot of people like kind of when they mention me, they mention him. Mention him, they mention me. Um, other people like Rome Streets and, and these other dudes. Like, dude, there's another crop of MCs coming up. Um, even though I've been there, right? I've been there forever, but you know, I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? So, I think I'm doing something that that's never been done. What do you, what do you mean you're doing something that's never been done? I mean I've been doing this for twenty some years and I'm on your own. Yeah, and I'm mm -hmm. now getting as relevant as I ever was. I don't think that's ever been done. Twenty years later, right? Because I was relevant when I first started. You know, clues and and I was on Fab album. I got a gold plaque and, and did, did all the, had all the accolades and and then you know I kind of went away and came back. And twenty years later. Even Not more relevant than I was. Right. I mean, who has done it ever? So it's, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I don't want to say I'm searching for respect or, or kind of chasing it. It's, it is what it is. I'm mm -hmm. putting it out there. You know, if I don't say it, nobody else going to say it. I'll say it for you. Ain't nobody ever left and I mean, came back I, and did what I and still be relevant and do what I'm doing. I, I'm yeah. not even done yet. Like I'm not even done. Like I'm just warming up, and not just for this year. Right. I'm just warming up. Like they can't. Nobody can keep up with me when it comes to that shit. Now it's back to this. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me I could just put a beat on and rap my ass off, and y'all gonna judge that? Y'all can't compare with me when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? Concepts. Uh, what what Roy say? Checking the boxes. I. I actually check the boxes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a real guy. I got real stories. You know what I'm saying? Not that, not that you gotta be gangster or this and that, because that's not even me at all. I'm just telling, I'm just telling me. I'm mm -hmm. telling me. I'm, I'm keeping it real, and I'm using all my poetry. You know, my metaphors, my, my entendres, my multis. I'm using everything in my bag to produce what I'm doing. And on top of that, telling real stories. Telling real stories and, 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 and making sense. Like, niggas could do all that shit, but you, are you making sense? Are you being, are you capturing the audience's attention? And the believability. And the believability. And everybody all just that. get on the mic and just say, yeah. I'm yeah, there's a lot of fire dudes. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of fire dudes, but it's, I think what I'm doing, not even think, I know what I'm doing is just, is just that much more different. And, and like I said, you're doing it on your own. It's on my own. Yeah. Um, you're independent right now. Yeah. It. You started off. Ever had a record deal? I never. No, never. Never had a deal. Never, never had a deal and never. had like the buzz you had throughout your career never without a record deal. deal. Nope. That's fire. Yeah, never had a deal. Fifteen minutes of fame. You are now listening to Fifteen Minutes of Fame, Radio. Let's go.